Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you. I'm Charlie Romero for Roadfly TV. Today we're at Audi's headquarters in Northern Virginia, about to test drive the 2012 Audi TT RS. Now I'm not just going to stick to the roads around Northern Virginia. No, today we're going to go to the Shenandoah Mountains and the Skyline Drive. Come on, let's take her for a test drive. The last time Audi introduced a new RS badged product into, into the States, it was the Audi RS4 and the Cabriolet version, which I drove back in 2008. And I'm really happy to see that Audi's bringing the RS badge back on the new TT. That means this car, the 360 horsepower car, it's lower to the ground, it's faster, it's much more responsive. It really shows that Audi is listening to their customers by bringing more performance to the States. The braking upgrades on the RS include RS branded calipers front and rear, and you've got larger diameter uh, discs up front are 14.6 inches, and then they are also cross-drilled for greater cooling efficiency. So for the past 30 or 40 years, folks complained that the best German cars are sold in Europe and that we don't have access to those models in the States. And listen, the guys at the car companies know that they want the best cars here too. They want to give us what we want. And so what Audi did was they put a petition up on Facebook saying, listen, if we bring the TT RS, a low volume car, to the States, will you buy it? They had over 10,000 people say, yes, we want to buy that car. And honestly, we're doing this review in November 2011. This car is fully sold out through the end of the year. So if you want one for 2012, you really need to jump on it and get your order in so you've got a place on the list for the new 2012 Audi TT RS. Business is booming over at Audi. For the first time in 2010, they sold over 100,000 cars. And the reason for that is, is basically they've got a lower cost of ownership these days. They've got a higher residual value. They've got a great warranty. They're holding their value better. That, in the long run, drives more sales. They're expected to sell nearly 120,000 cars in 2011. Power for the TTRS comes from Audi's 2.5 liter, five cylinder turbocharged motor. It delivers 360 horsepower and about 343 foot pounds of torque. It's a fairly flat torque curve when I get in it. Once basically the turbo lights up at around 1500 to 1800 RPMs, it's a very flat torque curve all the way up to about 4500 RPMs or so. I mean, this thing is tuned to get that kind of power out of this little two and a half liter motor. It's pushing 17.4 pounds of boost through the turbo. So uh, the engine's fairly well tuned as it is. I don't know if you're really gonna need to chip this car to get anything more out of it. Due to lightweight and gearing, zero to 60 comes in at 4.1. Top speed is 174 miles per hour. If you're a purist who enjoys a manual transmission, you're going to have reason to rejoice. The TTRS is only available with a six-speed. You can get the dual-clutch transmissions overseas, but we are not getting that car here in the States. So even though this is an RS model and it's pretty much maxed out in terms of performance right now, there is an S for sport button on the center console, as well as a way to turn traction control partially off or all the way off. Depressing the traction button once turns traction partially off. Depressing it twice turns traction all the way off. Now what the sport button does is it provides for quicker throttle response, a stiffer suspension, and a sweeter exhaust note. So I want to get into this exhaust note thing for a minute because it's something a few manufacturers have done and I think more of them are going to do it in the future on their high performance cars. When you depress the sport button, it opens up the baffles on the left side exhaust. The only other way you get to hear the car that loud and to hear that sweet note of that two and a half liter five cylinder roar is by going full throttle. So if you're driving around town and you miss that sound and you just want to hear it because it's a beautiful day, go ahead, push sport, you get to hear it. If you don't want to hear it, take sport off and keep your foot out of the throttle. It's easy to spot an RS on the street because they've got that really cool sporty honeycomb grill and then you've also got a silver painted lower valence lip spoiler and then in the rear you've got a fixed 
uh, rear spoiler, although this particular car doesn't have it, it is a no charge delete option. And then to finish off the exterior styling cues, there's a lower rear diffuser on the TTRS. You know, Skyline Drive is a great place to really feel the Quattro system work. I'm an advocate of all-wheel drive because I look at it as a safety feature. It can get you out of trouble in the wet, no problem. It'll keep you from getting stuck in the snow, no problem. But also on dry pavement, it can save your butt. Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive system provides one of the most sure-footed driving experiences out there. Now, the system puts 50% of the torque to the front wheels and 50% to the rear wheels under normal driving conditions. But if you're maybe driving a little spirited or you're on slippery pavement, the system will adapt itself and put up to 100% of the power to the front or the rear wheels. And that can really help get yourself out of a hairy situation. From a sport perspective, the steering feels very Audi-esque. It's light, it's responsive, it's very sharp. Uh, the steering wheel itself has notches at 2 and 10, so you always know where your hands are. And then the bottom of the steering wheel has been cut off to help with the sportiness, but it also helps with getting in and out of the car. MSRP of the 2012 RS is $56,850. Now one of the key options you might consider is the tech package, which includes navigation and Audi's outstanding multimedia system. Well, that just about wraps up our time in the new 2012 Audi TT RS. I got to tell you, I'm really happy that the Audi execs stepped up to the plate, listened to their customers, and brought the new TT RS to the States. It's a welcome competitor to Porsche's Cayman S or to BMW's 1M. Listen, I'm going to go out, have some fun in this thing because I don't have to turn it in for a couple of hours. I'm Charlie Romero for Roadfly.com. We'll see you next time. Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.